What's up you data friends, it's Yanis here and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to go over a practical example of an SQL test that you might get in an interview. And more specifically, we have 20 minutes to complete this test and I'm going to go over question by question and explain the methodology behind answer those questions. If you want to practice with me, I am going to upload both the raw data and this code in my GitHub page. So feel free to download that and practice with me. If you don't have SSMS installed, then you can follow this link. And if you want a more complete SQL tutorial, then you can follow this link over here. And before we jump into this video, let me just say that if you're passionate about data analytics and data science, then please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. Right. The first thing you should do as soon as you get your SQL test is to go over the raw data they are providing to you in order to write SQL on that raw data. In our case, we have three tables, as you can see over here. Our first table has information about cars and their retail price. So this is our first table. Our second table has information about the used prices of cars. And then our third table has additional information about the cars. And this is our third table. Now, if you've noticed, all of them have index, which is basically our key column we are going to use to join them together. Right, going down now to start with the questions, uh, I'm going to start from here. There we go. So this is a YouTube video. The first question says, what is the total retail price per make? And in order to do this, we need to select make from our first table. So this is our first table and then actually sum the retail price because this is what is asking us. So very quickly, I'm going to copy this, paste it down here. And then over here, I'm going to say make comma and then sum over here. We need the retail price. So I'm just going to copy this, paste it over here and then us. And then I'm going to say sum retail price. So this is the name I'm giving it. And I'm also missing a group by and then make because I need to group the data by make. And then if I run this quickly, we can see that we have the total retail price per make, which is what the question is asking us. Right. Moving on to the second question, it says which model has the highest invoice price combined for 2023 and 2024? So to answer this question, I need to group the data by model first, and then I need to apply a condition 2023 and 2024, and then I need to order them by the highest invoice price. To do this, I'm just going to copy this, paste it down here. I am going to change now if I select my data just to see, I am going to replace make with model because the question is asking us about the model. So model, I am going to keep the sum retail price because it's asking us, sorry, I have to change this to invoice price. So uh, I need to copy this, paste it over here at the underscore. So this is the invoice price and I need to name this as a sum of invoice price. I need to add a condition. So where I need to add year in 2023 and 2024. So I'm just going to say where year in open brackets 2023 comma 2024 uh 2024 like this and then uh, close oh actually 2023 2024 and um, over here you need to be careful just in case these columns type is stored as text this one i know for sure is a number so this is going to work otherwise if it was text then you will need to add the codes like this because it was going to be a text. However, you can actually uh, test if this is uh, working. Let me switch group by. If this is not working, then it means that you are doing something wrong with the year. However, because this works, it means that the where close has worked. Uh, let's go over the question, which model has the highest invoice price? So we actually have to order this by. So order by 
uh, and then the sum of invoice price descending so highest to lowest like this and now we can see the model with the highest invoice price combined so the sum for 2023 and 2024 right moving on to the next question now it says show the average retail price per make uh, for all four-wheel drive cars so if we select all of our raw data now we need to find this column drivetrain that is basically specifying whether the car is a four-wheel drive car or not so if i check our data we can see that driveway comes from our third table called uh, what's the name of it uh, youtube car info and this is the column we need to use to limit our data to just four-wheel drive cars so to do this i'm just going to quickly uh, select the previous query and then change this uh, sorry let me move this down uh, change what we still need to have the make uh, so i'm going to switch model to make like this I'm going to copy this, paste it over here. I need the average retail price. So I'm just going to change this to uh, average. And over here, I need the retail price, which was from our first question. Uh, and then this is going to be the average, average retail price. Uh, I don't need this condition. However, I need a different condition. I need to add where and then I need to say index because now I need to filter one table from another table. I basically need to have a subquery over here that only selects the cars that creates a list to look into that only has the four wheel drive cars. So you need to say where index in and in this subquery, we need the list of indexes only for four wheel drive cars. So you need to say select distinct uh, all from our table, which is the third table, which is this one, the car info table uh, from our table. Uh, sorry, not distinct all, distinct index from this table. So this is the index, let me show you. This is the distinct index from this table where drivetrain equals so undo drive train equals and over here i need to add the four wheel drive cars like this so if i select our sub query now you can see that it only has indexes that are four wheel drive cars and our initial query is going to use data only where its index is in this list so this is how we limit it so we need to show the average retail price per make. So that's correct, per make for all four wheel drive cars. We can actually order it by the average retail price. Again, we don't need to, but we can do it like this. And there you go, you have the makes and then the average retail price only for four wheel drive cars. Right, moving on to our next question. It says, show the minimum and the maximum if used prices per make where the year is 2024. So if we select all of our data to identify the columns we need, we need the minimum and maximum use prices and use price comes from our second table, as you can see. Per make, make comes from our first table where the year is 2024. So our first table again. So what this question is asking us is that basically we need to run a join where we combine different columns from different tables together. To do this, I'm just going to copy uh, our first uh, table down here so I can start working on it. I'm going to say select make because we just need make from here, comma, uh, we need the minimum use price, which is going to come from table B. So I'm just going to say min use underscore price as uh, and then uh, mean underscore use price yeah so this is the minimum use price we need another one of these which is going to be the maximum use price so this is uh, the max sorry max and then change this to max yeah max use price oh, i've actually pasted it twice let me remove this then we need what else do we need the minimum the maximum use prices per make that's correct 
However, these two need to come from our second table. So I need to do the join now from YouTube car mean. This is our A, we need a left join and then we need our table B, which is this one, the use prices. There we go, this is our B. We need to join these two on uh, index. So I'm just gonna copy index on A dot, A dot index equals B dot index. So this is the key we wanna use to join them together. And I also need a where close. So where year is 2024. So I think we have year before. So there we go, year uh, equals 2024. We also need to specify where each columns come from. I mean, we don't have to because they are distinct columns. However, it's always good to specify from where each column comes. So make comes from A, use prices come from B. So B and then this one is B. I also need a group by over here. So group by and then A dot make. And then I think that's it. Let's run it. There we go. As you can see, Mercedes and Nissan do not have a used price. So what we can do is that we can say over here and B dot used price is not now. So this is going to remove those two. There we go. So we have basically answered the question that it gave us. Right, moving on to the next question. It says, show the model with the lowest highway fuel economy. So again, I'm going to select all of our raw data in order to identify the columns that we need. And we need highway fuel economy, which is basically coming from our third table. To do this, we need to run another join where we are going to join the first table and the third table, show the model and then show the minimum highway fuel economy per model and then select the one with the lowest. Right, so since we already have a join between the first two, I'm just gonna copy this and paste it over here. This is our A, this is our B, and in our B, we are going to actually add the third table. So let me copy it quickly, the car info, copy this, uh, paste it over here. Sorry, use all of it. So they are actually going to join on index, which is fine. Both of them have index, so that's how we're gonna join them together, index and index. And uh, then we need to select model, not make. So I'm just gonna say model. And then uh, copy this and then paste it. Where is the group by? Oh, we don't have a group by. Okay, model. Uh, and then we need from B, minimum highway fuel economy, which is this column over here. Uh, however, this is a text. So we have to clean it first before we run minimum, which is an aggregated function on it. To do this, there is, there is multiple ways of doing it, but uh, I'm just going to follow uh, the one that comes into here first. So I'm going to do uh, B dot, B dot, and then the highway fuel economy. I'm going to run, uh, oh, let's run it first. So you see what it returns. So there you go. We have model and then the highway fuel economy per model. Now we have to aggregate this. We can do left over here, left, and then select the first three characters like this. Uh, actually left should be capital, uh, like this, there you go. So you can see now it's just the number or actually the first two characters. There you go, so now it's a number and now we can try and minimize it. And when I say minimize, I mean run min on it. So minimum uh, and then the left uh, like this, minimum. And then we need a group by now. So over here, uh, group by, and then a dot model like this. And then if we run this now, we have an aggregation. We also need to order by, uh, let's copy it. So order by, and then we want to order by the minimum highway fuel economy like this, uh, space like this. If we run this now, there we go, we have null values, and then we start with the models that have the lowest highway fuel economy. And in order to remove these nulls, we can also say uh, in our where clause over here, uh, where B highway fuel economy is not null. Like this, and now if we run it, 
There we go. We have the model with the lowest highway fuel economy is EQB and then is EQS. And lastly, we have the last question over here, which says create a new column that has the retail price category of the car with the following. And over here we get a range. So we basically need to create a new retail price category column that has the following range cars that are below 50k cars that are in between 50 and 100k and cars that have a retail price more than 100k to do this we need to select our first table since the retail price is in the first table and i'm going to do select all from uh, let me select it actually so we see it and I'm going to add a comma here and this is where I'm going to create our new column I am going to use case but you can also achieve this by using if since this is only three categories so I'm going to say case like this and then I'm going to say when sorry uh, case enter when and then I'm going to have retail price which I'm going to copy from somewhere over here retail price when retail price is less than 50 1 2 3 k then i want to add this as our answer so i'm going to do less than 50k like this then i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it below when the retail price i'm going to say between now i can either do less or more or between but let's do this let's do more at equal than 50k and retail price less than 100k one two three then i want to have this answer over here like this and then our last one is going to be a copy of this paste when the retail price is more or equal to 100k sorry 100k is going to be here so one two three then i need this category there we go copy paste over here and then i need to say and well i don't have an else but let's do else uh let's give it as other i don't know if we have anything else and then i can say and as and i'm going to name this as retail price category so i'm going to add the underscores so it works there we go and then if i select this now you can see that we have our first car that costs more than 240k it has this answer over here then this car is less than 50k then this car is between 50 to 100 so we have answered our six questions successfully right so we have basically finished all six questions i don't know how long it took us i think it took us about 15 to 20 minutes but let me know in the comments below how much time it took you to complete this and if you find this too easy average or difficult in the next few videos i am going to upload more tests and they're going to be more average to difficult tests but i also have previous tests that are easier if you check in the video description or in my channel right so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you've enjoyed this video and you've gained enough value out of this video if you feel like you did then i would really appreciate it if you click the like button subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos if you have any questions let me know in the comments below otherwise thank you very much for watching this video and i'm going to see you in the next video